Hi, friends. I didn't expect you to come so early. I didn't even put my hair on. <laughs> Welcome to Queen Acres. I'm Miss Darian Lake, and I was just about to put my hair on. You know, I've had this old wig for such a long time, and you know, it really helps if you have a weather vane to keep your wigs on. If you don't have a weather vane, just, you know, find an old barn and climb up to the top and get one yourself. It really comes in handy. <laughs> So this wig, oh, this has treated me quite well. It's a beautiful lace front wig, but I like to trim off some of the lace, the excess. If you want, you can always put your wig on first and draw out with some chalk on the lace itself. That way the chalk washes off really easily. And if you want to wash your lace on your wigs, 99% rubbing alcohol and an old toothbrush. And I usually use um, a little paper towel behind the lace so that I can see the makeup coming off as I did before. And just a little scrub, scrub, dip in, scrub, scrub, and get the nasty glue and residue and makeup off of there because nobody wants to look like a dirty queen. <laughs> I do enjoy the, the lace of this wig and then I have a cheaper wig here that I'm gonna add on top for volume and fullness because nobody likes flat hair. <laughs> Now this wig has been with me for quite some years. It's a little threadbare from all the use of abuse. So now it's sort of like my Kellyanne Conway wig. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little spirit gum. Wipe off some of the excess. And then I'm gonna paint right along the hairline. So after I've painted around the hairline, I sort of dab the lace against the glue until I start feeling it feeling tacky. <laughs> so now once it starts getting a little sticky, then I can just apply the lace right to the edge and I'll use an old pair of tights or pantyhose. That way I won't get any lint stuck to the glue. And then when you're just patting it right in there, it helps the glue dry and keep a seamless appearance between your skin and, you know, on the stage they don't notice. <laughs> then you can move your clip to the other side. Clipping in the hair out of the way, and I'm gluing right here along on the hairline. So now I feel like getting tacky. I can press it against my skin until it dries. Now up here on the top, you can also glue that. You can sort of roll some of the lace back if you want to, or since it's lace, you can even paint right through the lace with the glue. Then like on the sides, you're gonna wanna blot the lace. The next step is I'm going to apply another wig on top of my wig. <laughs> yes, wigs on wigs. So you can have a wig reveal if you'd like, or you could just keep it on and have nice big full hair. So now I'm going to section off some of the base wig that I'll be able to blend it into the top wig later. Try to keep your parts nice and neat and clean, but if they're not, don't worry. The bar lighting is nice and dark so nobody will notice your messy job. And you can clip this out of the way while you're working. Now, if you'd like to have a little extra volume in your top wig, you can uh, put something up here to act as a filler. Uh, you can even get one of these bathroom puffies, you know, that you use. Make sure it's clean and doesn't have skin cells on it, you know? <laughs> Unless, of course, you are gonna get murdered in the woods, then you wanna have a little DNA left over. <laughs> so, the great thing about these puffies is that they easily can have bobby pins thrown right through them. I know some queens will use like plastic bags or, or uh, hip pads or other foam, but I find the foam gets really hot. This lets the air just circulate right through. So then of course, go back to your trusty weather vane. Grab your top wig. See, this one does not have a lace which means it's a lot less expensive. So throw this right on top. The great thing about these is these can stretch right through every layer. If you're lucky enough to find these pins, these are the Gloria Harfels. I don't know how you say that word. I think it's German. <laughs> these pins are expensive. So when a girl asks to borrow a bobby pin, you say, no. So now that we have that base wig nice and secure, we can take the pieces we pulled out and blend it in with the top wig. You can take some more of these large pins and pin some of the hair back. If you want a little more height in some of the places, you could always backcomb or tease back brushing 
some of the, uh, to get a little height wherever you want it, and just style your hair. So you can um, take it off to the side, or then you could even brush it all back in a Stepford Wife sort of fembot style. Whatever strikes your fancy. Hey, it's your hair. I'm not telling you how to do it. Don't tell me how to do mine. <laughs> And then you just, you know, gild the lily as much as you want to. It's really that easy. Now make sure when you get hairspray, you don't hold it too close to your head. Because the first thing that comes out of hairspray are propellants. A light fine mist in layers will give you the best hold. And still remain unsticky and touchable. That way some of the guys in the back of the car can tell you how gorgeous and soft your hair is. They'll never even know that it's acrylic. And the great thing about an acrylic wig is that you can wash it with gentle shampoo, or you could even use a little homemade laundry detergent. We made some homemade laundry detergent and it's gentle enough to use on your fine acrylic fabrics. I always like to take a little perfume and spray right underneath where it gets sweaty and sticky. But you know, then when you flick your hair, you just scent the room naturally. <laughs> it's like Febreze. Another great tool for brushing out your wigs is you want to get a loop brush. Loop brushes, they won't tangle as easily in the hair. And always when you're brushing out a wig is not to retangle it all. Start at the ends and work your way up to the base of the wig. But this is a great way that you can travel with wigs in small compact spaces and um, create something fabulous and glamorous and large and lovely for all your drag queen needs. You know, if you don't have a base laced wig, you can also use your own hair if it matches your ponytail or, or wiglet or three quarter wig or wig piece. You can do the same thing, just use your own natural hair to blend everything. Then you'll have big, full, natural hair like a drag queen. Another tip, if you have a really shiny wig that's so brand new that it doesn't quite match your hair texture, grab a little dry shampoo and spray the wig with it. A dry shampoo will take out some of the sheen of a waxy new shiny wig. Last looks, last touches, mmm, there you have it. It's an easy way to finish your face and, and wig life. And you know what, soon you'll be disco dancing with the best. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us here at Queen Acres. Big kisses from the big girl. Subscribe to all of our videos. They're free and they'll make you rich.